Hello guys and ladies. Um just wanted to talk to you about um uh well I just wanna talk to you about um the the way how the devil tries to kill people uh at a young age, not just that. Um I wanted to I also wanted to say um that you know when 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 people are also when people are adopted they are they become a special they have a special destiny with with god um you know you, we we mustn't we mustn't as human beings under underestimate people that are that are adopted or adopted or um or abortioned or abortioned I mean when the, when the abortion happens it's too late but you know you can prevent it obviously it's not you know I don't agree with abortion at all um but when someone's adopted that's when someone's adopted that's even better because they got a, they got a second chance of of um of coming of, of making the, of making their life extra special but um what really what really inspired me to talk about uh, adoption and the fact that that the, that the enemy de the devil tries to um kill children at a young age um is that is is the fact that um they they have a divine purpose and destiny that awaits them because you know when you when you're in hardship yeah when you are in when you're in hard in hardship for a long time it, it goes to show you it goes to show that you you've been called for a great purpose for a great destiny so what really inspired me to um to talk about this is because of, because of the story of Moses um believe it, believe it or not um Moses Moses was actually adopted um there was no choice in what in in his adoption he was actually adopted um because of um because of, I think it was because of the Egyptians you you got adopted you got you got you got adopted because of the Egyptians because he was going to be was going to be killed or put into put into the Nile. Um, let me let me um read you the, that scripture, the two scriptures. Uh, let me start from Exodus. Exodus. Um, bear with me for a minute while my computer loads. So Exodus 1 verse 22 it says then fa then Pharaoh gave this then Pharaoh gave this order to all his people every Hebrew boy that is born you must throw into the Nile but let every girl but let but let every girl live um I'll go on to to um jump to um Exodus two. So I read or I just read Exodus one verse twenty two and I'm now I'm reading Exodus two Exodus two verse Exodus two verse one all the way till ten I'll be reading. So let me read this out. Um so this is the birth of Moses. Um, it says, "Now a man of the, of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. When she w saw that he was a fine child, which means beautiful, fine means beautiful, she hid him for three months. But when she could hide him no longer." she got got a pipus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch then she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of of the nile this his his sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him then Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter, went down to the Nile to to bath, 
and her attendants were walking along the river bank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her female slave to get it. She, she opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the this is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then the, then his then his sister asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, yes, go, she answered. So the girl went and got the baby's mother Pharaoh Pharaoh's daughter and Pharaoh's daughter said to her take the baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you so the woman took the baby and nursed him when the girl grew sorry when when the child when the child grew up when the child grew older she took him she took him she took she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son she named him Mo she named him Moses saying i drew him out of the water um so Um, so let me just bear with me for a minute. Yeah. So um, in the in the um those those um in the scriptures like I've um read out to you um it was saying that he was going to get the Hebrew Hebrew babe Hebrew to nurse the nurse the child. Um. Uh, I mean, it's not really clear how, what what happened afterwards because it's not. It doesn't really go on to say that um that that um that they found out that he was Hebrew, but but there were um I think they were just trying to um they were trying to um. They were trying to do harm to the child, even when it was young. Young, even when it was young. I mean, it goes to show. It goes to show that um that that when because um Moses was able to do many things. You know, he was able to part the sea and do many things. Um, he did, did great things in front in front of the in front of the sight of God. He did, he did did great and marvelous things. Um, I mean, I read, I read. I mean, if it wasn't for Moses, you know. I mean, a whole, a whole, a whole nation. If, if it wasn't for Moses, a whole nation could have been wiped out. Because I mean, I think I read earlier in the scriptures of, in, in the scriptures of Exodus, um, that um, that. He had Moses had, um, I think it was three thousand three hundred. You know, three three thousand. I think it was three thousand. Three thousand three hundred. Let me just look it up. Actually, bear with me for a minute while I look this up quickly. Um. Bear with me, please. Let me just pause this. 
Okay, yeah, I found it. Um, if it wasn't for Moses, um, because 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 you um because God had His hand upon had had His had His hand upon Moses' life, life, um, if it wasn't for Moses and God, um, you know, because of Moses, um, a whole a whole six hundred and six hundred and six hundred and three. 603,550 people, uh, well, 550 men, um, were following God because of because of Moses, and um, well, basically over 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 that amount because um because he was only counting men, so you got women and children and children that were under 20, um, like the Bible, well, under 20 because the Bible only counted up until from 20 and over so so I mean if you can only just imagine the amount of people that got that got saved because of Moses and and who followed or followed Mo followed Moses and he was able to like part the sea part the sea and um the Red Sea and uh do just, just do amazing things just Things that w that wouldn't be wouldn't 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 be done in this in this generations it it could be repeated but the thing because because people are just too much into the world it wouldn't be repeated that's why um you know Moses you know he had he his his when he when he was with with God in the mountain his face his face his face um, sh shunned, or if his face was brightened, and he had to he had to put a veil over his face. Um, I mean that that goes to show that um, that if if God can if God can if if God can put the fear on one person, um, what more can God do? I mean that's that's the power of God, really. Um, not just that. Um. Um uh I mean you got things like um um what did I say? so yeah uh and and you got things like um how how um how when 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 um when God was talking to talking to Moses, he, he was God was talking to Moses like face to face, like how, how a person talks to a friend, how how I talk to a friend. It was just face to face, literally face to face. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot Moses did it, did in his lifetime. There's a lot he did, and. And a lot, and a lot, I haven't actually, maybe I haven't covered properly. Um, but about this, um, I try. Well, the adopt, the um, adopt, the adopt, the adoption. Um, I mean, we shouldn't really underestimate what, what, what when people are adopted, and and um, people that. That have been rejected by, rejected by their parents. Because I mean, it goes to show that the the, the 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 child that's been rejected is going to have a great destiny. Um, but they have to just they have to just come through, come through that problem that they're having with the adoption and being feeling rejected. You know what you've got what what we've got to understand of of what we've got to understand is that um, although we've been rejected as children. You know, God never rejects us from the from when we were born. We never, we 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 will never be rejected by God. God always loved us. We we will always reject God from when we were born. But but God, even when even when God rejects us, even when God rejects us, we don't. Sorry, even when God rejects us. Sorry, even when we reject God, 
God doesn't reject us even when we even when we reject God he just never does that but he only reject God only rejects us when we reject when we when we reject him first um but God loves us with a oh, you know, such a compassionate love that you know if we if we if we really stood down stood stood or sit down and really think of how God loved us then you know the world would definitely be a better place you know and um people would see things in a different light and you know as as you know that um as you know the scripture God so loved the world <coughs> that he gave his own, own that he gave his only begotten son Jesus who whosoever believes in him he believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life I think that scripture is John 3:16 but I don't want to get that scripture wrong but let me know if I, let me know if I got that scripture wrong um, by leaving a message at the bottom um but you know I mean it's it's pow it's powerful how to me to me it's very powerful how how God how God sat with Moses and just talk with Moses face to face as he as he as he would do to to a friend I mean it's it's quite that's quite something actually I believe but yeah um so I hope you in uh, um so just before I go um about the uh about about what the devil is uh, about what the devil does basically um as we all as we some of us might know that the devil tries to kill us at a young age i mean he tries to ki try to kill me at a young age what well, he tried to anyway but or similar not quite killing but similar I mean, um the de uh, the devil tries to kill people at a, at a young age because the devil is afraid of what we will become when we become when we become Christians, because um, he he just the the devil is afraid of, of of the end of himself. So that's that's what that's why the devil tries to kill people at a young age. The younger he can kill them, the better for the devil. So and you know we need to as as Christians we need to stop that. We need to pray against that happening and stop that from happening um yeah so um i hope that that this this these words have helped you to gain an understanding about um about um adoptions and um maybe gives yeah so i hope you've underst understood it what i've what i've spoken and um i'll talk to you and I'll, and hopefully i'll be doing another video soon and um God bless and have a good day and peace.